are in Vilnius, Lithuania. It is 4.30 on August the 13th. And our ride is not here. The nice lady at the information desk called our hotel and they called somebody else and somebody should be here in 15, 20 minutes. Well, this is the uh, arrival area. There were a lot of people here half an hour ago and they've all left. But the inside here is a beautiful old building. I'm sure it wasn't built to be an airport. Here's our hotel, the Radisson Historica. This is an old hotel. So this is the Radisson, the old section. And you go through this passageway and you come into the new section and this is where our room is. Well, here's our first hotel of many. This is in downtown Vilnius. About 10 o'clock in the morning on Wednesday, August 14th. The sun is out. It's beautiful. This is the city hall. Here's another church. Over here we have the hill with the three crosses. And over here, ooh, lots of satellite dishes and another church. Here's the flag of Lithuania. Here's Stu getting money from an ATM machine. But what I really want to show you is this street. Notice the cobblestones. Very difficult walking. Over here is about the third tour group I've seen this morning. They are soon probably going into this church. This is St. Casimir's Church right across the street from our hotel. My guess is that St. Casimir. Very cool altar. Here's the town square and the city hall. This is a Russian Orthodox Church built in the 1800s, originally the 1500s, but rebuilt. And here's the side view. And below the church are some local vendors. This is evidently the oldest medieval, well-preserved city in Europe. And this must be the cathedral. Comes a kid on a Segway. The uh, streets are narrow, so the bike lane is in the middle of the sidewalk. Nifty old building. You have the nice detail work on there and above each of the windows. There's another beautiful building with the dark wood on this one. And looking on down the street. So here's the front of the presidential palace.
This building is a central part of the former governor's palace. The first palace here was built in the 15th century as the bishop's residence. Then it was given to the general governor in the 19th century. It was visited by many distinguished personalities such as Napoleon Bonaparte. In the eight, early 1800s, it was reconstructed in the Empire style. The president's office is on the right side. Well, now we've arrived at the cathedral. This is Cathedral Square. And here's a slightly more modern street. This is right across from the cathedral. And down here, look what we have. Very modern. It's the front of the cathedral. This is quite a large square here next to the cathedral. This is a guy that fought off the Crusaders. Well, this river seems to be separating the old town over here on the left and modern Vilnius on the right. The castle, such as it is, is up there and there's a funicular. We'll see if we take it or not. This is the castle, also known as Gediminas Castle. It's a symbol of Vilnius. It was built at the beginning of the 14th century and it replaced an earlier wooden castle. It withstood the attacks of the Crusaders. At the beginning of the 15th century it was rebuilt and it lost its importance. It was damaged in the war with Moscow in 1655. That's probably when Peter the Great was uh, conquering the Baltics. Down below here is the arsenal. And evidently that's the foundation of something that used to be there. There's old and modern Vilnius. Very modern. Nice scenic river over old Vilnius and just in a quick count just overlooking this area I counted a dozen churches and I'm sure I missed some. Some people walk on the cobblestones and then some people go up the hillside. Good for them. Here's the track for the funicular and we will go down. This is why the Crusaders couldn't take this place. Those are steep sides. Can you imagine trying to get up that in a suit of armor? Another neat street, and this one's got restaurants, and we're going to eat at this one, I think. 